swear that you will faithfully and truly perform your duty as president of the Moose Jaw and District Chamber of Commerce, and that you will, in all matters connected with the discharge of such duty, do all things and such things only to promote the objectives of the Moose Jaw and District Chamber of Commerce. So help you God. I do. Well, congratulations. <laughs> this gift on, on to Greg for his service over the, over the past year and, and beyond. Thanks, Greg. On behalf of the Chamber, again, I would like to express our sincere thanks to Greg McIntyre, as well as last year's board, for their leadership and direction. Greg definitely leaves some big shoes to fill, and I mean that both literally and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> My size seven and a half, so I'm not going to match that, I don't think so. The mission statement of the Moose Jaw and District Chamber of Commerce is to act as the voice of business in Moose Jaw on matters affecting its membership and concerning economic climate and directly related social well-being of Moose Jaw and trading area. Over the past year, Rob and his team and the board achieved many successes, as, as Greg had indicated in, in his speech. Our plan going forward is to build off that momentum and to continue to offer improved initiatives and benefits to our members, local business recognition and celebration, advocacy and a voice for business, resources for member businesses, and networking opportunities. 2018 and 19 is the 130th anniversary of the Moose Jaw Chamber of Commerce. We are proud of, of the tradition of service to the Moose Jaw business community and to the residents and visitors that we serve. Um, as Greg had already mentioned, the level of interest showcased by director candidates for the upcoming term is like anything I've seen in over three years of experience and being on the chamber board. Um, I happen to be appointed my seat by acclamation. Um, I realize you kind of stole my thunder there a little bit with my joke, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's why I'm standing up here today. I'm excited about the year to come with so many new faces and strong business leaders at our table. Moose Jaw, like many other communities across our province and nation, face economic pressures and a changing landscape. Not a large city, but not a small town, bestows many opportunities as well as challenges for our local economy. Our local businesses must continue to evolve and market themselves to ensure success in a time when the trading boundaries are no longer defined by our city limits. As such, the Chamber will continue to offer support and education to our members to ensure our local businesses have the tools to remain successful and evolve with today's market challenges. Moose Jaw is a great city and I'm proud to call it my home. Together, as a business community, we can continue to succeed, thrive, the Moose Jaw and District Chamber of Commerce exists to achieve just that. Thank you. <laughs> so, just so we have an idea of, uh, of Riley's background. Um, so, Riley, I understand you're not originally from Moose Jaw. Not everybody's perfect. Yeah, where are you from? So, originally, <laughs> originally I'm from Port of Prairie, Manitoba. Um, I moved here uh, to take a position with the co-op in Moose Jaw. I was, I was working for the co-op in Portage of Prairie, and I moved 
moved here in 2008, so uh, been here 10, ten years, years now, 10 and a half years. Um, Moose Jaw is a great community, as I said in my speech, and a uh, you know, great place to live and raise a family. So uh, between the two boards, the, 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 the chamber board and the board of the co-op, which one's your favorite? <laughs> I am not going to comment on that question. <laughs> so, with the uh, so your your role with the uh, with the Moose Jaw Chamber of Commerce, you're you're the see something, see you're, you're the you're an accountant. What, what's your full role? What, what, what oh, you... sorry, with the co-op? Yeah. Or the Chamber of Commerce? With the co-op. Okay. Well, with the co-op, uh, yeah, I moved here to be the controller, so I'm an accountant by trade, which explains why my jokes were exceptionally dry. And, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, since then, I've moved into an operational role as well, so I, I kind of wear two hats right now. Um, I still oversee finance as the controller, but uh, I'm also the operations manager, so I, I'm involved in operating our business. So Riley, uh, so with him being a controller and whatnot, he does have a necessary skill set that uh, when we get, he, he can be some ballast to the, uh, to, to what, I guess the conversation in the room. So if we get overly uh, excited about uh, something that's making us either, either uh, mad or something that is making us excited, he tends to be, uh, be good at keeping us on the, the uh, straight and narrow. So that's uh, maybe, methodology of, uh, of being a controller. But so what you're saying is, like I said earlier, I'm dry and cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it was a compliment. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what, uh, what, what brought you to the, uh, to the Chamber of Commerce three years ago? Um, so yeah, uh, obviously, you know, when I first moved to Moose Jaw, my, my family was still pretty young. Um, I wasn't able to be as active in, in the community in terms of sort of giving back um, on a personal level. I was too busy running boys to hockey and just like I'm sure a lot of you either have or are currently experiencing. And um, I, I, I just wanted to be able to, uh, you know, offer what little expertise I have and, and, um, and be a part of the community and give back to the community that I live in and love. I guess kind of a personal question, and uh, I know you've been dreading personal questions, but uh, so what are you, Android or iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> a number of years ago, I switched to Samsung, and I'm Android all the way. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah. I have some cheers. <laughs> we don't know any. I have a memory card. I can take it up with my new phone. Can you hear that, Terry Lynn? Yeah. I didn't even know that. That's not even a loaded question. That's it. I think this is an album. So I guess uh, you've got another couple of years uh, ahead of you. Is there is there I guess, is there one thing that you want the uh, the existing board and the new board to have top of mind as we're going into into this year? Well, you know, you know, you touched on on where things are at. And We've, we've got a lot of good things going on. Um, the, the, the change with Rob coming in as a leader and, and having different ideas and, and coming from a marketing background like he has that, um, you know, has really allowed the chamber, I think, to come up with some new initiatives and directives and really kind of steer us uh, down a direction that um, is elevating the chamber. And, if the chamber's elevated, well, the businesses and members of the business community that are members of the chamber are going to benefit from that. And I think, I think there's a lot of great things that we're doing. Um, you know, I, I, I think ideas are continuing to flow. As you mentioned earlier, we had a, a huge uh, um, interest in, in joining the board with the chamber, and we've got some really good, strong, intelligent people, I think, that are going to help steer the chamber to continue on the momentum that we've, that we've gained over the past number of years. Oh, excellent. So is there any questions from the audience before we release them back out into the wild? No? I was wondering if, uh, if 
Mr. Rob Clark would like to to join us and maybe give uh, before we we wrap for the day. He, him and Heather just uh, just went off to Thunder Bay, Ontario, and uh, they attended the Canadian uh, Chamber Executive Conference out there. Uh, so this is again this is another one of the things that the board has placed as a scorecard item for uh, um, for us to uh, yeah, Heather doesn't want to come up and partake, uh, but to increase our, our depth and being engaged to be a modern chamber is that we we send these guys off into the uh, into exotic. Um, other <laughs> like Thunder Bay. So, uh, Rob, can give us some. What'd you learn? Well, we uh, stopped at the Terry Fox uh, monument, which was probably one of the highlights. But anyway, what we learned is we got pages and pages, and uh, we learned that we're doing really good things. And people actually call us when we come back. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, sharing some of our ideas. We got some ideas from them. So, I think probably the best thing is uh, there's really nothing I can pinpoint at the moment. Is just watch what's going to be happening with the chamber. We've got some great ideas, some new initiatives, some just picking up on our old stuff and uh, revamping and reworking it. So anyway, I think uh, just pay attention over the next couple months, and uh, and you'll see uh, things happen in the chamber. Heather's got all the minutes. I don't have them in front of me. So. Anyway, uh, and uh, I want to thank everybody for coming. Great new board. Looking forward to it. Riley and Greg have been absolutely awesome to work with as uh, uh, Corey and Darcy in the back. So uh, they got to take a lot of credit on what's happened at the chamber here. So I'm really happy and I think we're on the, uh, we got, we're on the right highway. All right.